hi everyone welcome to another day on my channel i uh, hope you all are healthy well and blessed today i wanted to shift gears a little bit and spend some time talking about another aspect of our wellness journey our spiritual well-being I would like to preference um, that I am not a spiritual counselor or um, anything like that. So if you have that in your lives, definitely um, turn to them when you need them. But I just wanted to share my perspective today on an um, area of spiritual wellness. Uh, so I do think that when we think about um, wellness, this area is grossly under highlighted. Now, when I say sp spiritual well-being, I don't necessarily mean um, what religion do you follow, but rather um, what do you choose to place your faith in as you move through life. Um, I'm a firm believer that while faith and religion can coexist with each other, they're ultimately separate things. It's my belief that religion is more around practice and ritual, like how you choose to carry out that faith that you have, whereas faith more so is rooted in our values and our principles. However, I don't want to talk too much about religion um, because I don't believe any one religion or practice is necessarily right or wrong. I feel it all comes down to your faith, your belief system, or set of values. In other words, what your anchor in life is, which is what today's video will be about. So now why is faith important? It's less about uh, fear of punishment or hope of reward, but more about how we see the world around us and most importantly, how we see ourselves. Life is full of ups and downs, uh, victories and defeats, and uh, through it all, it's all what we do, um, where we lean on for guidance, for comfort, um, that's where it really comes down to in those moments of the turbulent journey. And yes, a lot of us do have people in our lives that we can turn to for guidance or comfort, but even they might not be around all the time when we need them. We're then really pressed to try looking within ourselves for answers on how to proceed in life. Um, in essence, that's kind of where this journey to find out what our anger is begins. Just the other day on LinkedIn, I saw a post that read, um, it was a quote um, that read, uh, if you have someone in your life who supports you, then you're blessed. And I immediately thought, someone is going to look at this thinking, yeah, that's great and all, but if you aren't bl blessed to have someone in your life who supports you, then what? Um, and, you know, as I scrolled through the comments, because I was just curious um, what the reception of this was, I did indeed find uh, someone who asked, and if you don't, question mark, if you don't, then what? And, you know, echoing the same thoughts that I had prior, uh, when I reflected on that question, I came to the conclusion that it's really less about others believing in us, supporting us. It's helpful to have that in our lives. I'm not diminishing that in any way, but it's more about us having faith in ourselves. And I responded as such, stating that as long as that element is there, there's hope um, for more um, moving forward. And while it's not easy to do, it is it is vital to have in our lives. If we don't have a place to draw that wisdom from, uh, we can find ourselves wandering through life, relying on things that don't quite give us the fulfillment and meaning that we crave. And I want to say that feeling a little lost on your journey doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. I found for me um, that it was in those moments that I had the opportunity for the best introspection in life. However, what drove that introspection was largely influenced by what I saw as important in life, um, how I felt about myself as a person, and my willingness to put faith in something beyond myself. These three elements uh, have a lot of importance with how I personally see the world and ultimately create what anchors me in life. In life, I focus on finding ways to prioritize my life in ways that support my core values or what I feel is most important in my life. Oftentimes, I reflect on my strengths and weaknesses um, in addition to how I feel about them. 
there are your concrete strengths and weaknesses and then there's your perception towards them. And I come back to who I am and who I'm growing into and what I need to do to become the best version of myself moving forward. And just finally, by relying on something beyond myself, I can not only take the pressure off of myself when it comes to circumstances out of my control, but also just reinforce my resolve no matter what happens, knowing that things will work out one way or another, um, and just having faith that um, things will find its way in its proper place at its proper time. I want to pose the question to you all. Um, what does that anchor look like for you? If you find value in this talk and feel empowered on your journey, feel welcome to hit the like button. If this is uh, the kind of content that is up your alley, um, would love to invite you into the Joe K community as a subscriber to my channel. I encourage you to leave a comment if there's a topic you would like me to offer any insight on. I'd be happy to do so. If you're interested in following my uh, journey up close or interested in additional content on personal growth, feel free to follow me on social media. You can find my details in the description below. Until next time, stay golden, my wonderful warriors.